Hi, my name is Alan Wadsworth. I'm the Market Development Manager for this product line for the Americas region. And today I'd like to introduce you to the B2800A series of benchtop SMUs. There's actually four different models in this series differentiated by number of channels. We have both one and two channel versions as well as precision. We have both standard and precision models. This particular unit here is a B2912A which has two channels and is also the precision version. In the video demo today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to make simple measurements on a diode. I'm going to show you how to make both a DC measurement as well as a sweep measurement. And I'll show you how simple and quickly you can set up the measurement from the front panel as well as view the measurement results. So to set up a DC measurement is very simple. I don't actually even need to change the default view, the default two channel view here. So I can actually look at both channels at once if I wanted to in terms of DC. So to change, first of all, what I want to do is go in here and set up the mode for my channel one. And notice by, I can actually have it sourcing either voltage or current, because remember it is an SMU and it can do either one. In this case, for this demo, I'm actually just going to go ahead and do volts. And the other thing then next I need to do, of course, obviously, is set the actual applied voltage to the DUT. And for this particular LED, I know from experience that 2.8 volts is a good number. Now lastly, this is an SMU and you actually have the ability to set a limit on the, no on the non forced quantity to prevent device damage. So in this case, the default notice is only 100 microamps. That's not going to get my diode turned on. So I need to actually go in and change this. So let's change it to about oh, 30 milliamps ought to be good enough. So now I basically set the type of uh, forcing I want to do, volts, set the value, and set the compliance. Now all that I have to do is turn the instrument on and look at the result. So I'm going to go ahead and turn channel 1 on. And there you have it. The diode's turning on. You can actually see. Now an important thing to realize about the SMU is that it actually measures both the forced as well as the non-forced quantity. Now you might actually wonder why would you want to do that, but I'll second I'll show you there's a good reason why. But again right now you can see that we're actually uh, measuring 2.8 volts and forcing 2.8 volts and also measuring a little more than about almost 12 milliamps coming out. But notice on this box I can also push it and actually change the voltage in real time. So I'm actually now increasing the voltage. So we're up to 2.9 volts and increasing it again, 3 volts. And now as I try to go higher, ah, look what happens when I try to set 3.1 volts. Well, I'm actually hitting my compliance value here. And even though I think I'm applying 3.1 volts or even 3.2 or higher, I'm actually not because I'm at limited by the current compliance I've set. So it's actually very valuable on a product like this to actually have both the source and measure value uh, actually measured by the instrument as well. That gives you a verification that what you think you're forcing is really what you're getting on the box. And we'll go ahead and talk about how to make a sweep measurement. So now I'm going to show you how to set up a sweep measurement. Before I do that, I want to change my DC value here so that I'm not forcing 2.8 volts all the time. So I'm going to set that back to zero volts. To set up a sweep measurement, I actually need to change the view. So I'm going to push the view button once, which gets me into the ex expanded view of channel one. And I want to push the more button here. And I want to push the show sweep soft key. So this now puts me into the mode where I can set up the sweep parameters. Notice that of course it's off. But again, I can go in here and change this. Now, there's actually a number of different sweep modes available. Of course, I have the basic, simple, linear, single mode. And again, notice in the upper right corner of the screen here, you actually have a convenient icon that helps to tell you what mode you're in. I can change this to linear double. And then, of course, we also have log single, log, log double, and also a list sweep mode. This mode allows you to specify arbitrary sequences of waveforms, neither voltage or current, as you would specifying, for example, a list of values in a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead now and for this demo pick linear single. Now I have to go down and pick start and stop values for my sweep. 
So basically zero is a good value to start at. And then stop value in this case, I'm gonna actually go up to three volts. And now I want to pick points. So three volts, probably a good number of points is 61. That works out to give me nice even 50 millivolt steps. So now I've done that. Everything is set up, ready to go. All I need to do is change over here, change the view, push it twice to get me into the XY graph view. And all I need to do to do the sweep measurement on the diode is turn it on and push the trigger button once. I don't know if you caught it, the diode flashed briefly. We're also seeing the uh, graphical representation of the current voltage plot of the diode. Notice that in the upper corner here, there's an auto scale button. So I can very quickly and easily auto scale this measurement. So now I'd actually like to look at this on a logarithmic scale, not a linear scale. And that's very easy to do. So note, using the little knob here at the top, I can actually move over here. So I move it over to where it's, the linear uh, is defined for the y-axis. Push it, notice now I can do either linear or log plots. So I'm gonna select log. And as you can see, I'm seeing a more characteristic appearance of a diode, which would, again, an exponential diode would show a, a linear appearance when plot logarithmically. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. So hopefully now I've shown you how simple it is to set up a DC or a sweep measurement on the front panel of the instrument and display the data graphically. If you'd like to get more information on these products, please go to the URL currently being shown in this video. At the, it's basically www.agilent.com, find B2900A. Also, if you'd like to get more general information on parametric tests and other parametric products that we have, we have a very nice 200 page plus parametric measurement handbook, which is also available for free download at the URL currently being shown in this video. Again, my name is Alan Wadsworth, and I thank you very much for your attention.